Did you know one of the greatest innovations in modern refrigeration directly stemmed from a destructive fire? Stay with me. This story will change the way you see your ice cubes forever. Welcome to another episode of Fascinating History. It all begins in the sweltering city of New Orleans in the year 1850. Back then, ice wasn't a convenience. It was a luxury. In fact, most of it was imported from northern states, transported in special insulated ships. But one fateful night, a catastrophic fire roared through downtown New Orleans, destroying entire blocks and melting all the precious ice stores in the city. The blistering heat made it nearly impossible to control the blaze, and without available ice to cool the fire efforts, the devastation was immense. Yet, out of this fiery disaster came an unexpected, enduring legacy. Enter John Gorey. He wasn't a firefighter or an inventor, he was a doctor. Gorey had been studying tropical diseases and knew that keeping patients cool was vital. Witnessing the chaos of the fire and the toll that heat played on recovery, he began to obsess over one groundbreaking idea. What if ice could be manufactured instead of imported? That way, everyone, even in the hottest crises, would have access. The concept sounds simple now, but at the time, it was akin to science fiction. Over the next several years, Gori painstakingly developed a machine that could compress air, cool it down, and create artificial ice. By 1851, he had built one of the world's first primitive refrigerators. The invention was revolutionary, but not without its critics. Ice merchants, fearing their monopoly would crumble, launched a ruthless smear campaign against Gori, calling him a lunatic and his idea a fraud. Despite their efforts, Gori's machine worked, and although he struggled to gain commercial success, his vision opened the floodgates for the refrigeration industry. His designs inspired a wave of innovation, paving the way for the appliances that we now take for granted. Refrigerators that keep our food fresh, air conditioning to combat heat waves, and even cryogenic cooling for modern medicine. So the next time you sip a cold drink on a hot day, think of John Gorey and that blazing New Orleans night that sparked a cooling revolution. Amazing how fire, of all things, became the catalyst that gave us ice. Fascinating history indeed.